Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I am here to do my 200 envelope challenge with a twist. So, you're probably going, why 200 envelopes, Amanda? Like, what in the heck is going on? Why are we doing this? What are we using it for? I have no idea what we're using it for yet, but let's get started. So, Excuse the rattling of a bag beside me. My cat, Gigi, the black cat, has decided to get into the Fred Meyer paper bag. Why? Because it's paper. And she she loves paper. So does Sebastian, our other cat. Um. Anyway, so if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Amanda. I am 35 years old. I can't believe I'm saying that. That's crazy. I live in Oregon. I'm an all-cash budgeter. I do cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, all on a low income. We mostly talk about the nitty-gritty on this channel. We talk about budgeting and real life on a low income. So if that's something you're interested in, please hit that like and subscribe button. I am trying to get us to 3,000 subscribers by hopefully the end of the year because I want to do a 3K giveaway and I have so much stuff in a folder for you guys to give away. So let's get started with this 100 envelope challenge. So this one is from, or 200 envelope challenge. This one is from Mandy's Budgeting Items. She is Mandy's Budgeting Journey. I will link her in my description box. She has tons of low income savings challenges. I love that she has numbered them mostly one through six because that is totally doable for me and most anybody else who is also on a low income. And then we have this one from Jamie's Realistic Life. I will link her as well in the description box. She is trying to get out of debt and she's also on a low income. So she came to me and she's like, do you want to do this super cool collab idea I have? about the 100 envelope challenge. And I was like, I think you're running with it, girl. Like, do you, you do it. I cheered her on to do this. And now I'm gonna be doing this particular savings challenge. You get to choose how much you wanna put in each one of these envelopes. That's what I like best about this one. So if you only have $5 on 57, cool, add $5. If you have five and seven, you can add it together. Um, you could do 12 you could do as many of these as you want maybe you want to go for the gusto you guys and you want to color in every single one of these it's up to you it's your way of saving and that's what i like so we are going to write on these the date that we started you know i am running out of black pens guys um i literally and this pen's never been used I literally have been running out of black pens and I don't know what has happened, but since we've moved, all of my pens have like freaking exploded on me. I was going to an interview for a restaurant and my neighbor comes knocking on my door and she's like, can I borrow your phone? And here I am flipping out because a pen literally exploded up my arm black and I'm like I need to YouTube how to get the black pen off my body before I go to this really nice restaurant um which by the way I have a second interview today for um I want to look professional when I go in to um do this interview right and she's like are you okay because you seem pretty frustrated and then she goes to tell me how to get the the black ink off of my body um <laughs> which was very sweet of her and she needed to borrow my phone because she was trying to get herself into a job as well 
which honestly I'm, I'm grateful that she did come over and ask to borrow my phone because she did get a job. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. So I'm also contemplating something and I usually don't talk about religion on my, um, channel, but I went to church on Easter with my kiddo, um, my youngest kiddo. My oldest kiddo goes to a church with his dad and he likes that church. Um, so he's going to stick with it. By the way, I'm keeping these boxes. They're going to be handy for something or something. And technically, if you wanted to, you guys, you could just keep these envelopes, which is just regular mailing envelopes in here. You don't need a fancy box, but I have a fancy box. So we're going to use a fancy box. So anyway, I'm thinking about trying out this, this church one more time. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm, I was born and raised a Catholic and this is a Christian church and Christian church is much different in my opinion, um, from my church, my home church, which is not in my area at all. Um, because it's my grandma's church. Otherwise I would just go to my grandma's church because that's what I'm used to. So we have that there and then we have our box, which is super cute. How could you say no to gummy bears? Um, but I was inspired to go to church by one of you guys that I watch and you are a budgeter. So I wonder how would you feel if I told you that it was you? Let me know in the comments below <laughs> and you might be surprised because I'm, I'm usually not, I'm, I'm pretty open book person. Um, I don't have very strict, crazy, um, did I put those upside down? No, I did not. Yay. Amanda, pay attention. Quit talking and pay attention. Um, <clears throat> I'm a pretty open book and I am a very alternative person. You know, I believe in your mental health is your wealth. So however you got to do it, boo, I'm going to support you. So this is the 100 envelope this is the 200 envelope box. This is crazy to look at now that I look at this. Can I do this? Can I do it? Let's see. All right. So, that's ready to go. And before we get super into swapping money cuz I'm going to have to swap money um around to make change, um I purchased some super clearance items during spring for spring for Easter, mostly spring and myself, you know, cause I believe these guys are too cute that they, they don't need to go in a box and wait all year, but we have bunnies. We have this bunny. We have this bunny and this bunny and my youngest kid, he's nine. My oldest, he, he might, he might've helped name these guys, but he's, he's getting older. You guys, he's going to be 13. So he's not as into, you know, stuffed animals anymore. He does have a few that he loves dearly. He has a black and, and purple, purple. Yeah. Black and purple axolotl. He's named midnight. And he's had midnight for like five years. And he also had a little dinosaur forever. So, um, these were named, I can't remember what my kid named them, but they were a dollar a piece, you guys. And they're TUI. So cute. And TUI used to be really super popular when I was a kid. My grandma spent hundreds of dollars on a Princess Diana bear. If you have one of those, holy cow, that is a flashback. And then I couldn't forget about Easter socks. We have chocolate bunnies with their little ears being bit off. And we have the little stripey socks on that one. We have happy Easter on that side. And then I love these ones. These ones say, Amanda, these were meant for you. <laughs> um... These were all 90% off 
So they were literally, I kid you not, you guys, and you're going to go, how? They were 83 cents. 83 cents. So a good friend of ours gets a discount at Kroger and he was staying with us for a short time. So we were able to totally utilize his, his discount and we still do. So when we go shopping, there are times where I'm like, I'm not going to buy this at Winco. I'm going to go to Kroger and I'm going to use the discount because I know I can. Like I eat their carb smart, um, keto friendly yogurts. I don't do full keto, by the way. I can't afford to do full keto. And I'm only gonna I'm only gonna be doing keto stuff. Like I only use keto breads and um their tortillas. Their tortillas taste like normal tortillas. But anyway, so I'm not going to be doing keto much longer. The only reason I was doing keto um, is for health reasons. So hopefully with that thyroid ablation, I won't have to do keto anymore. Um, but I've started introducing breads and other products back into my, my regular daily diet. So I'm super proud of myself for that. Hey, that's where it went. Oh my gosh, guys, we almost lost it. Do you see it? It's my emotional support. Grab a coffee. It's morning time and I need this. With hopefully not getting coffee all over this desk. Sorry, I know that probably startled, <laughs> startled one of you. Uh, sorry, I got excited. I got too excited. So I actually need my, my game night binder. My... My mail has been coming in so slow, you guys. Um, I honestly didn't think that I was going to receive some birthday stuff because everyone's like, I kept trying to send it on time. And my dad called and called and called. Which, by the way, he was so very sweet. He sent me this cute card. But he was like, Amanda, I know you're going to love this card. And he sent me this for my birthday, along with some strange odd and end gifts, because he, he goes to the thrift store to buy gifts, because he doesn't have a lot of money, and he also stuck some money in there. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not just going to disclose how much was in there, but more than I expected, and honestly, I wish he hadn't sent me that money like that, but I know that he's like, you are my only daughter. I am, I'm my parents' only child, and both my parents, you know, are getting older and are trying to figure out what they're going to do in their older age, you know, and, and my dad's trying to get into a place, and I feel bad when he gives me money, especially for birthdays, because I'm going to be sending him his gift, which, by the way, I just bought a bunch of gift cards, um, with some, some of my cash tips because you know what? He, he needed it. He needs it. Um, one is a gift card, um, to something food and the other one is totally not related to food. So, um, but he can go and buy what he wants, which makes me happy. So $20 is going to go into this envelope. We're going to count out one, so one, two, three, four, five, and then we will take, you know what, I'm going to take ten, I'm going to see if I can get more fives, one, or ones, one, two, three, four, and five. So, this condenses that quite a bit. Let's make sure that we have twenty bucks here. So, five, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And let's go ahead and stick our spring money back in here. But I do have some packages that have kind of been leering around wherever the heck they're at, stuck in Los Angeles. Um, I do have some happy mail from Amazon, but I'm gonna do that in a different video. 
And one of you guys, and I don't know, I don't know if I should mention your names or not, um, but I'm going to mention at least first names in that video. And <clears throat> I am so honestly excited about one of my gifts that I received that my husband ripped open, um, <laughs> not knowing that it was a gift to me. Um, he was like waiting for something in the mail and he's very particular, right? Um, also, I have another sad situation with mail coming um, in a different video, but um, I received something I'm going to be using on a daily basis and something I don't buy for myself very often. So if you, if you gifted me this, you know what it is and I appreciate you heavily. I haven't I haven't used it yet because I want to make sure to get it on video. So we're going to start with Mandy's and let's see how far we can get with 20 bucks. We are hoping to get, by the way, I'm not going to be labeling these uh, 1 through 200. I'm just going to leave them blank in case I want to use them for something else. Um, I am really excited, you guys, because... I think that my roof is going to be done by the end of the month. I think that would be amazing. I think that that would be so amazing that that would cover my my birthday for the next however many years I live here <laughs> because I really want to get it done. Um, I think that we're doing a metal roof, which is really exciting. So let's knock out some of these ones first we don't have to go in order so let's go ahead and do one and then we're gonna do another one Ooh, and we're gonna make all of this rainbowy because why not so there's no more ones on that row there are two ones on this row So one, two, three, and this is just kind of challenge myself to get the bigger numbers done and not just stick to one dollar bills. Let's get orange. And this might go fast and might take longer. I don't know. I don't know when we're going to finish this. It's not a rush. Um, and then we'll do this one. Ooh! This one. Green. Are you guys doing the 100 envelope challenge? I know I've asked before, I know some of you guys are doing the traditional one. Man, I give you a lot of praise for that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go ahead and stuff six envelopes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. By the way, if there was more Easter socks, I don't care if it's Easter, I don't care if it's St. Patty's Day. I like crazy socks. I know, I know. I love crazy socks. Um, I don't have a lot of socks right now because I go through them quite a bit. Um, I personally don't buy a lot for myself because I'm so busy trying to keep up with the kids that I don't buy much for myself. And, and neither does Jordan. So one, how many do we have there? <laughs> one, two three, four, five, six. Okay. So Jordan and I don't buy a lot of clothes. We need to start looking for some better winter gear because winter comes so fast. And even though we just, <clears throat> we are just leaving winter quote unquote behind because we don't know we're in Oregon. It can snow again. It's still April. It snows on my birthday a lot. It actually snowed on Easter, which was in March. 
which is crazy. So we have these ones that we've already stuffed the $1 in. Let's stuff, let's stuff a five in this one and then we'll go on to the next one. So did I do one of each color? I'm trying to delegate in my brain. I don't think I, I think I did. I think I got them all. So let's go ahead and do a five. Alrighty, and let's stuff a five. So, I'm excited though. I'm excited that I am going on that second interview today. I'm excited because I know I can do it. And hopefully it'll mean that I can bring home some cash tips on a regular basis. And I need a thing to def divide where we put these in. You know what? I'm gonna have to create myself a divider. I'm gonna have to use something for now. Let's see what I can find around my office. Oh, look, a piece of paper. So let's go ahead and mark stuffed. With a smiley face. All right, perfect. And I actually tried to make my own envelopes <laughs> with this as my template. And now I'm glad I didn't make my own envelopes because <laughs> I would have had a mental breakdown. <laughs> Literally a mental breakdown. Sorry, I sat down fast. And then we are going to work on Jamie's. And let's do one, four, the first one. Because why in the heck not? We're going to put that in the stuffed side and we are going to color in one. There we go. And then on to number two. We are going to stuff two. So let's go ahead and stuff that in here. And we will stuff two. And we are going to go on to stuff another one because we don't have three. I could do six in the next envelope. I think I'm going to do that. Let's do three and a three. So that makes six. If I had three more dollars, I can make it nine, but we're going to make it th or six. And I love that you get to pick your own numbers. I know I'm going to say that a million times over in these videos, but I'm excited because I get to choose how I play out these 100 envelope challenges. And that makes it feel a little bit easier. So we stuffed quite a few envelopes already. So look at that little stack. I know most of them were ones, but it all counts and it all adds up. I am done with my money. I don't have any more money left. So as always, if you are struggling and you have to do these smaller challenges, it's okay because I'm doing them too. I actually am going to be ordering a 
non-breakable or one-time breakable jar from Amazon to start my coin challenges over again because unfortunately I had to break into the bank. So do what you can with what you got because it's all you have to work with and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!